what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel we're going to talk about fluid os which is based on android version 11 it's officially available for a lot of devices like this redmi note 8 this one is in my hand redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 pro redmi note 9 s and redmi note 7 and many devices i'm going to show you the link for all of the devices is in the description if you're looking for the room the room is quite smooth and i'm going to review it on my redmi note 8 in my hand because this room in every device has the same kind of UI same kind of features and this is the official build didn't got any kind of major bugs till now even I've used on my Redmi Note 9 Pro used it on Redmi Note 8 so no issues but so I'm gonna share with you uh, my opinions about this build on Redmi Note 8 it has a little bit of performance things this is very good kind of performance based room it has also a little bit of things which are changed in UI which I'll share with you very very soon in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started yes, this is the about ui about phone ui which you get here fluid OS 1.1 and in my hands i have redmi note 8 you can already see which has the latest security patch of 5th of january 2021 so this seems to be really nice this has the latest security patch and we just started 2021 just started and we already have the security patch so this seems to be really nice if you talk about the performance the room has no issues as i previously told you this is almost lag free didn't got any kind of flags if you use a multitasking you will be able to do multitasking without any issues let me show you some changes first of all by default you can see some fonts these are not i have not applied any kind of theme from here i have not applied third party fonts or whatever these are the fonts which you get pre-installed pre-default or by default you can say these are the fonts which you get here so this is the first change which you get here settings icon and everything every icon or you can say every color is changed to this sky blue color it has the same kind of ui if you go for your quick settings panel same kind of thing available here and there but yes if you're looking for this icons these are not available in this custom room as you can see your silent icon wi-fi icon and the network indicator these are not included in this room this is actually a magisk module which i have applied and what is that magisk module and how to apply it and how this is working i have a dedicated video just now available on my channel you can go and check it out that video so you'll be able to check out if you're looking for the default apps if you go here in my case i have this google camera if you use the redmi note 9 pro in my hands where we got the gcam go edition for redmi note 7 i'm not sure but gcam etc almost every device you get the gcam so working pretty fine didn't got any kind of major issues Okay, let me show you the settings UI first of all here. If you talk about the settings UI, you can see settings UI has also some changes. Like these icons are already themed here. You can see we have the fluid customization options available here. If you talk about other things like we have the Xiaomi part system, everything is available which you get in all the other, other devices also. So no issues available here and there. Let me show you one more thing. If you go for the security, you have the face lock option available. And I am not sure, but maybe it's available in Redmi note 9 pro also so yes this is something really interesting but app log is not available in any kind of custom room if you're using redmi note 8 or if you're using redmi note 9 pro or any kind of device app locker is unfortunately not available so no issues here and there let me show you a little bit of ui change first of all the thing which i got for example if i open any kind of app from here you will see this permission manager by default if you use any kind of android 10 or android 11 you will see the permission pop up there but it's available here and honestly i like this i love this a lot lot you can simply use this one to use any kind of our app or give permission to any kind of app so this seems to be really nice i personally liked it a lot talking about other things as the same kind of things like if you go for the magisk manager as the safety and status is passing if you use the magisk hide option if you use that module if it is not working then you need to use that module by default let me show you that i don't have any kind of that module available but as if you use that module and if you seriously still don't know that how you can pass a safe net status i have a dedicated video on that so that will be helpful for you that how you can pass a safe net status in a custom room most of the cases that guide is working fine so there might be no issues you'll be able to use the banking apps i'm using paytm etc was working fine here so no issues available here and there telegram etc 
everything seems to be fine the performance seems to be really nice after using it for more than 24 hours didn't got any kind of lags here at all let me show you a little bit of brief look in settings so that you'll get an idea then we will move on to the installation so wait let me show you if you go for the fluid customization this is a menu which have almost every kind of theming available like the ascent color icon shape if you go for the system theme as, as i previously told you we have these icon packs available but i have applied a magisk module so that these icons will not change like this one it will change according to something different and which is this like this one and i have a dedicated video on this one so if you want to check it out i'll recommend you just go and check it out that video then you'll get an idea that how it's going on and for the fonts customization many fonts are available but actually the default fonts are quite good we have other things which include the status validated customization it includes the volti icon but does not include the wi-fi icon little bit of a disappointing thing but that's okay if you go for other things quick settings lock screen and miscellaneous etc has same kind of things roam is quite good and usable as a daily driver how to install this build let me show you by moving into custom recovery it's quite easy by the way Installation is same, you just need to install the file. It has two builds option available. If you are looking for a Google Apps build, that is available. If you are looking for other build like the vanilla build, which does not include any kind of Google Apps, then you can use that build also. In my case, I'm using the Google Apps build. You can use that one also. It's up to you. How to install that? I'm not gonna show the full installation. Let, let just I'm gonna share with you the steps which are needed to install this custom room on a device. I recommend you to use the Orange Fox custom movie. This is available for this device, this device, almost every device in my case my storage is encrypted so unfortunately i will not be able to show you but how you can install that it's quite easy just go here dalvi cat system vendor data all these things you need to swipe to wipe okay the second thing is you need to select that rom file for example okay and then you need to swipe to install and it's done and if it is required for you you can format data also and then you'll be able to install this very easily this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye